People have to understand, are you using your device or is your device using you? Can you put it down? Can you turn it off? My biggest concern is, uh, is the unfettered access to, to social media and cell phones, quite frankly, because there's a biology to these things that are as addictive as alcohol, nicotine, and gambling. Right now, a family is out to dinner at a restaurant, not enjoying each other's company, but each staring into the screen of their choice, completely ignoring the family members. And this is mom, dad, and the children all doing the same thing while they continue to eat. They did it the entire meal. That's your real point, is that these companies, and that's what I was saying in this essay a couple of weeks ago, is that companies just like the tobacco companies, just like food companies, it's not enough that we just like the product. We have to be addicted to it. Right. And that is something kind of evil. Well, and the reason, though, that this, this, this we need you to use it as much as possible thing comes from is because of the attention economy. There's only so much attention. The attention and, economy, yeah, I mean, right. You know, it's about balance. It's not that they're inherently bad, and it's, it's not that texting or social media is inherently bad, but it's when it gets out of balance. Um, if somebody carries their phone wherever they go, like they, they physically feel anxiety if they, if they put it down. Um, when they are with their friends and have to have it up the entire time looking at the phone while they're with their friends. You know, when they wake up in the morning and check their phone before they say good morning to the person sleeping next to them. These are problems. This is out of balance. What I'm saying to people is, to all of us, I'm not knocking the phone. What I'm saying is we have to understand, we have to at least ask ourselves around the world, you here in England, wherever you are, what is it doing to us?